here. Alright. Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. And the opera is back. <laughs> Welcome. Now, listen. Everybody is jumping at Skip Baseless, and it's just funny to me. Everybody hates Skip. I don't hate him or Shannon. To me, they are who they gonna be. They're entertaining, but my thing is, you get on Skip about him calling your husband Westbrook. Did you get on your husband for when? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't two minutes yet. <laughs> It ain't two minutes yet. <laughs> Give me a second. Boy, I'm about to go in. I commend her uh, for what she's done. As a black woman, what she did was show support to her husband, who is a black man, who they really don't like to show that a lot. But here's my plight. My plight is, did you have that energy? Did you have that same energy for him when he did what he did? And people know who I'm talking, know what I'm talking about. All I heard was cheers today. Yeah! Yeah, she stuck it to that bum. And I'm just asking people, like, what did she do? Oh, she said, stop calling him. Or I or I heard some YouTube content creator, excuse me. I ain't hear from him. I heard it from YouTube content creators talking about, yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, man. Y'all don't skip about that. He a hater. <laughs> he a hater. And I said, yeah, I agree, he is. He sure is a hater. He sure is. You know. Then she called him a bully and all of this stuff. And then I believe he blocked her. <laughs> Skip just blocked the chick. <laughs> just blocked her. Hilarious. Very hilarious. Now, did you have that same energy when your husband wore a dress. That's all I want to ask. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. You can't pick and choose when to have that energy. Now what you did today, you did nothing wrong. I commend what you said. I've called your husband Westbrook because to me, I call him Westbrook because he ball for broke. Doesn't matter if his shot's off, he ball for broke. Don't matter if he like three for 80, he will ball for broke. He will keep you in the game. Will he win you the game? Regular season game, but big games in the playoffs? No. Nah. not that type of player. Now, Skip Baseless called him Westbrook. He calls him Westbrook because of um, his lack of efficiency from the field. So, Wes, um, 
Westbrook wife basically brought that energy out like look I'm sick of you disrespecting my family calling him out his name he has sons and they have a last name too and I had no problem with what she said so don't don't come on here being mad I'm not upset at her I'm straight I just want to know that she had that same energy when that punk ass boy came home with a dress on that's all I want to know but you going after Skip I want to know that you set him straight you see this is the thing this is what comes with the stardom You're going to have criticism. Hell, you're going to have damn near everybody not like you. For real. You got to take the good with the bad. And what's wrong with these athletes today and these people today is they can't handle adversity. They can't handle any type of thing that pushes against them. They can't. If anybody or anyone if anybody or anyone comes at them with a constructive um, critique or just flat out bashing what Skip Baseless does then yeah that's how it is I always was taught as a young man got to take the good with the bad and that's a true statement I know it's simple and everybody's like man that ain't man that ain't um that ain't no um that ain't no big saying that ain't no type of thing well that's my saying and I don't give a damn if you love it or not but the truth of the matter is this People want the people want the um the credit, the accolades, but people don't want the criticism. And what people gotta understand, this is LA. Your husband, Miss um, Nina, has been showing poor body language. He's been very piss poor to the fans who pay to see his bum ass every night. So I'm sorry, I, I feel where you're coming from. I respect it. I respect you and your children, I don't respect him because to me, him putting on a dress is really just, just irks me because you have boys at home that you're raising. How are they going to look up at their dad as a man and this punk ass dude wore a dress? You know, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, y'all can say I'm being over critical or I'm being non-empathetic. No, I'm, I'm, I have empathy, but my problem is this. Did you have that same energy for him when he wore a damn dress? That's what I want to know. I'm not defending Skip Baseless. I love what you said because I can't stand that motherfucker either. But I'm asking you a question, Mrs. Westbrook. Did you have that same energy when your man wore a dress? I bet you you did it. I bet you had some concerns and said something. And then he said, man, this is one time thing, you know, get. And you just bought whatever he said, right? Right?
this man put on a goddamn dress. But you gonna get mad at Skip for putting a putting for changing your last name. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you this, um, Ms. Mrs. Westbrook. Kobe Bryant endured worse from the national media. The national media used to talk bad about Kobe. All the writers, everybody hated Kobe because of that Colorado thing. If that Colorado thing never happened, Kobe would have got his flowers. It took for Kobe to die to get his flowers, and he still ain't get his flowers fully. You still got some nitwits out here talking about, he was overrated. He was overrated. He don't have stats and all this and that. I'm like, because he didn't play for stats, you idiot. <laughs> he played to win the damn game. Michael Jordan don't have stats like that, but you guys put him up as the greatest, which I don't understand. And then when I say Kobe to go, everybody got a problem. Man, Kobe didn't do it. I'm like, bro, Michael didn't do shit. No, Michael don't lead in any goddamn category. So what the fuck is y'all talking about? So I don't want to hear this shit about your last name. This man was dissed and disrespected for like 12 or 13 years. Russell has a bad attitude. It's that spoiled bratness, Mrs. Westbrook. Your husband invites it on himself. If your husband wants so combative and ready to fight every goddamn night, what do you expect, Mrs. Westbrook? If you and your frog face ass husband would have seen what happens to teammates who play with LeBron, they don't get credit, they just get the blame. Or they get credited as LeBron made them look good which is a goddamn lie. That bald-headed bum ain't made nobody better. So I don't want to hear that crap about, oh, man, you know, LeBron does this with the basketball. Well, you know what else he does? He loses with the basketball. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of all this babying and pampering and shit. I thought our generation was soft, man. These guys are past soft. They're a group of putty. <laughs> They're a group of putty somewhere. So, this is my thing. Skip Baseless is going to keep doing what he does. That's just what he does. Your husband is the scapegoat. Seriously. And no disrespect to you, Mrs. Westbrook. can't defend a man who wore a dress and he has a household of boys at home. He's basically teaching them boys it's okay to wear women clothing. It starts there and then it's going to start in you coming home catching your son with, a, with another male in the bed. And I'm not wishing that but hey, it could happen because he said well mommy, I saw daddy daddy wore a dress, why can't I wear one? You see what that does? Your husband has emasculated not only himself, he's emasculated his children because they carry his bloodline. And for him to do that is disrespectful. I don't care about no goddamn name change. They call him West Brick. I got a problem with your head of household wearing a goddamn dress. I don't care how I was as a kid. My mom never put me in no position to be fruity as hell or, or cross-dress.
you know it, it is what it is. I get sick of it. Like, everybody got their pom poms up. Knowing they was one of the ones disrespecting Russ. And then basically they talking about, ooh, fire this skill. Like, so what? Why you ain't checked the other people who been getting on your husband? You just picked Skip Baseless, because you know why? Because somebody told you to say something to Skip Baseless. Shannon Sharp been giving it to your husband. Others have been getting on your husband. You ain't say none about them, right? Right? You ain't say none about them. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. How she got this energy for this, but no energy for him wearing a dress. I'm telling you, man, the world messed up and backwards. So. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. This is one thing I don't like. Here's my thing. My thing is, you know what? I'll talk about that on another video. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the um, notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by going to my description box, hitting that Cash App link to my um to my link. I'm here to take you to my Cash App. You can donate a dollar or whatever you feel like giving. And also, and also, like when we have a live or a premiere, you guys can super chat now. So you know, thank you guys. Um. I think I'm going live tonight. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I'm gonna go live tonight. Catch the tail end of the game. So, man, thank y'all for listening. I'm out. Deezing.